Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to put video inside of text in Camtasia 2020. All right, so this cool new feature that I'm going to be telling you about is within Camtasia 2020. But if you do not have Camtasia 2020, like you have 2019 or 2018, you can still do this feature, but it's with a different tutorial. So I actually created a tutorial on how to do this exact thing if you do not have Camtasia 2020. So you guys can check that down in the description below. All right, so let me play this here so you guys can get a feel for it. So I've got some text up here and then I've got the video that's showing through the text. So here we go. I'll just press play. So you can see that this is a video and there was some text happening. There's me actually walking in the background. I'll rewind it again and play it. And then there you go. So you can see that this is a really cool, creative new feature and Camtasia 2020 has made it really easy. So let me show you guys how to do this. So I'm going to delete everything on the timeline so we can start from scratch. First thing is that you want to make sure to have some video. So this is just a video of my shoes and I was just filming some b-roll. So I'm just going to silence this. And I was just walking, just playing around with the camera, so that's what this footage is. So I'm just going to clip it here so that we just have this part here that we want to use. Just clip that, delete that, bring it up here. Okay, and then now we need some text that we want this video to see through. So I'm going to head over to my favorites because that's where I put my text but you can also find the text in the annotations. So I'm going to drag it here and you can see it's really tiny right now and I'm going to put my name and then I'm going to enlarge this. So I'll just highlight it and enlarge it and a lot of people think that this is the largest font size that you can get within Camtasia. You can actually get 500 as the largest size, but you need to change it manually. Click enter and you can see that, you know, this font is really skinny and thin. This feature is not going to look cool unless you have a really big, wide, large, thick font. So I'm actually going to change this font to a custom font that I had previously downloaded. And if you don't know how to find and download free fonts that you can install in Camtasia, I will have another tutorial video in the description below on exactly how to do that. So I already do have a font in mind that I want to use and I'm just going to change it right now. The font is KG Summer and you can see that it's a lot thicker and it changed it back down to 354 size. So I'm just going to change it back to 500 just because usually that's like makes it really big for the canvas and that's what I want. And we can move it up maybe around there. This is just a test. And so from here, you want to make sure that your text is directly above the video that you want to see through. So here with the text track, you want to head over and you want to find the little I here and then you want to right click on that and head over to alpha. When you do that, it does this cool new feature where you can see through the text and everything else turns black. And so now when I press play, you can see that the video is showing through the text and you get this kind of a video in text effect. So you can see that the possibilities are endless with this. You can get some really cool b-roll footage and be really creative with the text on the screen and do some really cool projects with this. So I'm really liking the new track mats feature in Camtasia 20 and this is how you easily add video in text. So if you guys like these kinds of videos, I have a Camtasia course that is nine plus hours long, 70 plus tutorials, and you guys can get two months free access to that down in the description below. If you guys want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend checking that out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.